Right, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope you know. Yeah, I want to make a video about the Atari VCS, right? Now, uh, for, look, I said, for every negative video that goes up about the Atari VCS or Atari, I'm going to make a positive one, right? As you can see, all of Atari. You know, I mean, all my life, 70s, 80s, 90s, the 2000s, till I'm in the grave, will be an Atari fan. Now, call me an idiot, whatever you want to call me, that's what I am, you know? Okay. Now, we always say, we speak the truth or speak my mind, you know, and if people agree or disagree, that's freedom of speech, freedom of opinion. So we understand that, right? Now, the Atari game pill thing, right? Now, originally we said that was a bad idea. People shouldn't invest their money into uh, funding Atari to make their own games, right? Now, I've sort of changed my mind on that, right? Now, I only invest if it's a game that you really want, you know, and you want Atari to make, you know what I mean? There's no point in giving them money for something that you you, you don't really want, you know what I mean? Uh, so, like, for, for example, we, the reason why I'm not investing in this game pool is because the only game I want is Night Driver. I, I, I want to see Night Driver recharged on the Atari VCS. With, of kept asking Atari where is it to keep ignoring me, right? Now, if they tell me that if I invest my money in this game pill thing, Night Driver will be made 100%, no questions asked, it will be made. But they're not doing that, right? They're not telling us what games will be made if we invest our money. So, to me, it's too risky. That's me, but some other people might see this as a good idea, which it is, because, it, it, you know, games will be made, but... My question is, we don't know what games are going to be made. So that's why we always say hold off. But that's my opinion, you know. Um, but either way, we, even if you don't invest, we, Atari will be making more games for the Atari, for the Atari VCS. We, and I'm, look, so I'm hoping Night Driver is one of those games. Night Driver Recharge. But will it? We have to wait and see, you know. Uh, uh, um, but look, I said, if they told me that, yes... If you invest five hundred euro or five hundred dollars of your money into this game pool thing, neutral recharge will be made. But I'm not saying that, so that's why I'm holding off, right? But I think it is a good idea, you know what I mean? Because you will get something at the end of it. You know what I mean? This isn't a scam like the Intellivision Amiga or anything like that. It's just, is it a good choice for you or not? That's all it is, right? Now, um, uh, now I've heard people say that Atari... When it comes to Atari games, they, they, they've got no brands, they've got no recognition, you know. That's bullshit, you know. I mean, I hear people laughing about Centipede, Asteroids, Missile Command, all these classic Atari games. Call them not brands. Well, these games were brands for a decade and still are, like, you know. Uh, these games are making billions of dollars, you know, uh, over, the, over the, the lifespan, you know. Uh, you know. Like these games are the ones that really kept Atari going, you know, cause, you know, because they have recognition, and they are brands, you know. Even if cer certain people don't like it or respect it, they can't change that. And the fact that these idiots are laughing about it shows how stupid they are. You know, what I mean, uh, Atari has like okay, like Atari, uh, like have fucked up in the past. I mean, I wouldn't be a fan if I didn't recognize that. They did make stupid fucking mistakes, but they did do some awesome things also. They they started the whole video game industry. These games, Centipede, Asteroids, Missile Command, all the early games, all the early games Atari made. We, if it was for these games, there'd be no fucking, there'd be no such thing as Super Mario Brothers or any sort of famous brands that these idiots are saying, you know. Which no Super Mario Super Mario Brothers is an awesome character, uh, this but if it wasn't for Atari and their worldwide known brands, there would be no Super Mario Brothers. There would be no Sonic the Hedgehog because something has to make money. If it makes money, it becomes a brand, it becomes a franchise, and Atari established that in the early seventies, late seventies, eighties. Like like Super Mario Brothers didn't come around till the mid eighties, and Sonic the Hedgehog didn't come out till the nineties. So Atari had these worldwide known brands for decades. So these people on YouTube that are laughing about it show us how, 
how much idiots they are, you know, and you know it's just la it's laughable, you know what I mean? In my opinion, that they're they they're insulting them, you know, you know, like, like these are the games that made gaming and probably made them gamers. You have to laugh about it, you know. The Atari VCS has a long future ahead of it. These idiots are saying that it's finished. It's not finished. It'll get games this year, the next year, and the year after that. And it'll get better and better over time. The VCS will get more updated itself. Hardware and software was. Both games and applications and all, all sorts of other cool stuff. I mean, I mean there's going to be 50 games alone. You know, and that's just a starters, you know, so it's not finished. Don't listen to these idiots, right? They're kind of a failure, just like, okay, now, now in my opinion, right, the whole Atari Hotels thing does sound a bit ridiculous, but who knows, it might actually happen, but I think it is stupid that Atari are focusing on that, but Wade Rosen said, our focus is the gaming, it's the games, it is. Now, they are investing in these other fucking areas, but Wade Rosen has made crystal clear Gaming is, is a top priority, you know, and um, in my opinion, they're doing a, a, an amazing job. Yes, they've made a few a, a few small stupid mistakes. In my opinion, overpricing for the, the Atari XP cartridges and stuff like that. That is a bit expensive and a bit arrogant. So that's the one thing I don't like. I wouldn't charge a thousand euro or a thousand bucks for 10, 10 Atari game cartridges. That's, no, I, I think they're getting a, a bit foolish there, a bit greedy, you know, that's the only thing. And like I said, the, now I would agree that the, the cryptocurrency thing was a bad idea, the hotels, but you know, Atari wants to expand the brand, you know. So, but where it matters the most, the games, they're focusing big time on that. So don't listen to these, these idiots on YouTube that are saying otherwise. They don't know what they're talking about. I mean, they're only saying things that they know about. They're not giving the full fucking picture because they don't want to give the full fucking picture because they're arrogant. And all they see is what they say is the way it is. It's not. I'm telling you right now, the Atari VCS, it will, this year, the next year, 2027, it'll get games. And it's not going anywhere. You know, Atari are doing an amazing job. You know I mean? They are making some stupid fucking mistakes here and there. But on the whole, they're doing great. You know, the board, the people that work there, the CEO, they all have the same objective. Make awesome games, make Atari great again. But they're being honest about it. They're not. They're not swindling people, and they're not scamming people. So I'm. I'm, I'm gonna make that crystal clear now. Believe me or not, it's up to you. But I'm telling you right now. Don't listen to these, these idiots on YouTube that are saying Atari have no brands. The VCS is finished. Atari are are, are a joke because these fellas are just nothing negative, and they, they have their heads up their ass. And I think a lot of people can see that. Now, uh, it's on YouTube. I'm not going to mention who they are. Probably, you, you all know who I'm talking about. Two individuals, right, that think their shit is made out of gold. And no matter what they say is right. And these fellas just refuse to acknowledge all the awesome things Atari have done in the past and now. Yes, Atari have made fucking mistakes in the past, right? That's what they went bankrupt a bunch, a bunch of times. But Atari today, since 2009... Have been honest up front and making awesome games again. And that's all that matters to me as a fan. That, that makes me happy, you know. Because for years, years went by when I, I didn't hear anything from Atari, you know. And we always knew somehow to come back. We didn't give up hope completely. And now we're Atari are back. Now, look at like, the Atari VCS. We, the reason why I backed that from day one, yes, it was a gamble. That could have been a scam too. And a lot of people were kind of a scam, you know, but we just had faith, we just believed that, yes, you know, because what they were showing me was what I liked, you know, and they were, they were, asked, they were actually asking for my feedback, and I saw that feedback take form. You know, the Terry VCS, you know, they asked for my, my input and what I wanted, and I got it, you know what I mean, and... They kept us in the loop of updates, so I knew I was going to get it. We paid three hundred seventy seventy five dollars for the VCS Collector's Edition and the two controllers, and I had no doubt about that in my mind. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's why I invested my money in the uh, in the Atari VCS because I knew what I would be getting. Uh, 
it was, it was a matter of time. Now, like I said, this game build thing, like I said, if if a tie were going to say to me, yes, if you give us 500, no true of a recharge will be 100% made. But they're not saying that. They're not saying what games are going to be made. So you might get a game that's sweet that, that you might not like much, but they will deliver. You know, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's not a scam. It's just whether or not it's worth the money to you. You know, uh, well, like I said, if, if it's a game you really love, let's say if if you want the uh, Desert Falcon recharge, which would be an awesome choice. Me too, Lee. Really. I mean, you know, but we want a tie to tell me first. Yep, we'll make that if if he gives the money. But I'm not saying that. So, but what, what I'm saying is, you you don't know what you what you're gonna get with the tie game fund with the with the tie game pool. So they're my opinions. So they don't listen to these fellas on YouTube that are don't know what they're talking about. They're just idiots in my opinion. But they're told their fucking uh, opinion, freedom of speech, just just look like I am to mine, you know. But, but uh, uh, I'm here to tell you that the entire VCS this year, next year, and the year after that, twenty twenty seven, and we think even beyond that. Because we're talking 50 games alone. And the, the and it's going to be more to come from Stern Electronics, Night Dive uh, Studios, and now Accolade. You know what I mean? So, and these idiots on YouTube, these two fellas, uh, don't mention any of this. You know what I mean? All they talk about is Atari 50. They think that the height of Atari is Atari 50 and that's it. It's courts. Don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You know what I mean? To just spread, to just spread, spread a negativity, and they're laughing at it, which shows how fucking stupid they really are, you know. And they say it's how you have no brands, you know. They they they, they say Centipede is not a brand, Astro is not a brand. These were brands for decades, you know. We can remember in McDonald's back in the day, yeah, uh, saw an asteroids thing, uh, you know, Happy Meals and stuff like this. So Atari, like, okay, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? It, these fellas just don't respect it and the ones that if it wasn't for Atari there would be no Meyer Brothers period you know what I mean because uh, Atari says yeah we'll take Meyer Brothers we, 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 we'll, we'll get your name now Nintendo you know what I mean and you know the NES became sold truckloads of Super, Super Mario Brothers games you know because they got the original Mario Brothers game on the Atari 2600 so people knew about it so um, I, I'm saying this these fellas should show proper respect, you know, rather than fucking making up bullshit just to make Atari look bad and make themselves look good, you know. Now, look, like I said, they're into their opinion just like I'm into it at the moment. So that, that's all I'm saying, We really. Don't listen to them. You know, and now these two fellas have a big audience and a lot of people like what they say, but it's just negativity, it's it's disrespectful and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're not bringing up, look, like I said, Night Dive Studios, Accolade, Stern Electronics, all the awesome games that are, that are in development right now from Atari themselves and indie devs. So, we'll just leave it at that, right? Uh, Heroes of Loot 2 was out on the VCS at the moment, right? Now, I have encountered a small problem. For some reason, the game won't download. Now, we've informed Atari of the situation uh, and they they get back to me. And we've had, problem, we've had more of the problems in the past with games I couldn't download them on my Atari VCS, but I've always got into Atari and they sorted out the problem for me. So, uh, so just, just, just bear that in mind if people have an Atari VCS. Here, here's of Loot 2. For some reason, I can't download it. Uh, so, just be wary of that. It's 899, 899 on the VCS star, you know. So, yeah, just, just want to make... I we'll just want to make a quick video about that. For, for every negative video that goes up about the Atari VCS, or Atari in general, I'm going to make a positive one. Atari are worldwide known iconic brands, and these fellas are laughing at it, you know. So anyway, they're told to do their opinion to be idiots and clowns if they wish. I'm just gonna be on the positive side and support, of, you know. What I mean, of the the, the brilliance in my opinion. So Lucas said, if the the Atari game pool, uh, unless you you know what you're gonna get, something that you love. Then invest in money. Just don't invest in... Because you might get a game that's shy and you just waste 500 uh, euro or 500 dollars. That's my opinion. Like, if Atari tells us what games would be made with this money, 
then we could decide, yes or no, but it's just a gamble, it's just a risk. But people won't get scammed. I can guarantee that. You you will get something out of this, you know. So what that game might be, if you do, I don't know, you know. But uh, yeah, so they're my opinions, okay. Atari, the Atari PCS is awesome. Uh, you know, we could play. Um, I'm gonna play Quake for the Sega Saturn now, and you know, which I thought, I thought Quake and the Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn was awesome. Uh, you know, and there's gonna be like fifty games along, uh, coming out. You know, this year. You know, uh, next year, the year after that. You know, so there's plenty. You know, uh. So yeah, I hope everyone has a good day out there. You know, don't have to look. I don't listen to these this idiot these idiots. These two individuals who are just talking shit, you know what I mean? And that's, that's all I do, in my opinion, you know? So anyway, I hope everyone has a, a good day out there. Uh, take care, all the best, and bye-bye.